What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Halo Infinite, <laughs> which is a game that I actually haven't played in like two years almost. Um, not because I didn't enjoy it. I actually played a lot of multiplayer when this came out. I enjoyed the multiplayer as limited as it was more than like, let's say, Halo 5's multiplayer um, and maybe even a little bit more than Halo 4's multiplayer. Um, but to be fair, I haven't really enjoyed a multiplayer of Halo since Reach, and that was kind of my first exposure to Halo, so maybe that's why I love it so much, but it was a really good multiplayer uh, experience, Reach was. But I kind of like this one to an extent, but it was very limited. I think they've been expanding on it, obviously, and, and people are you know, people who still play it are more optimistic about it in some ways, and I've... Uh, Realize that when I was playing this, I mean, I'm mainly a Halo campaign guy, and that's what we're going to play today. But when I played this, when it came out, it came out the month my dog Echo passed away. And there's actually a character in this game called Echo. So after Echo passed, I was unable to come back to this game. And I never posted my stream of it or anything. And actually, I don't even think I, I think I streamed it with no audio. I think I just streamed it and just have the footage. And most of that footage has been lost now, so I figured, you know, I think it's time to come back and give this a try and, and go through the campaign again and and try to just have some fun. So that's what we're here to do. So thanks for being with us, and I uh, hope you enjoy Halo Infinite campaign with me. And I remember having criticisms of this. So I'm sure at some point, you know, we'll talk about those criticisms as we go through the game. And there may be big chunks of time, because there's this is open world, too. There's, like, a lot of areas where I just remember f there's this one day for, like, hours I was just running around, <laughs> just looking for little, you know, trinkets and things. And so I'm sure I'll do that on this playthrough, but I don't know if I'll talk a lot during moments like that. And I'll probably just... Uh, save my edited version for just like the main story beats and action parts um but uh so if i get quiet if you're here and you're hanging out with me i'll talk to you obviously but if uh, otherwise i'll um i might get quiet from time to time in the live stream but i'll at least edit that that dead air from me out because yeah there's a lot of exploring in this game like a lot and they have added obviously they have added um co-op too so I'd, I'd love to go through this with a friend at some point uh, maybe my friend Alex but uh, he needs to I think he'll need to buy the game I don't even know if he has this Xbox either so I have to reach out to him and find out if you're watching thanks for being here I appreciate it and let's dive right into this this opening is awesome. I remember really loving this opening. Look at that. So this takes place sometime after Halo 5 and uh, after Halo Wars 2. And some of the books, actually. There's a, a book or two that, it, that takes place during the Cortana going evil phase. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Spoilers. Hey, there's the grapple. I think that uh, that grapple appeared on the um, on the TV show this season, I think, too. I gotta give it to uh, 343 on Atriox. I actually, I think he's a cool villain. Um, he's certainly tough. How would you live your life differently? Cortana. Or weapon. Dang. That's such a great shot of him just folding in half into the into the warthog. Yeah, Aatrox makes very short work of Master Chief. It reminds me of the opening of the original Destiny 2, where a villain just shows up and takes out your guardian, like no problem. And then you spend the rest of the game working your way back to fight them. Yeah, pretty epic opening. And I like that Steve, uh, you know, like Steve, <laughs> that's, that's the actor who plays Master Chief. 
I like that uh, Master Chief still tried. Like he shot the grapple, hoping to hook on, but he was already too far into space at that point. And here's our buddy Echo. And I gotta be honest, I kind of like him as a character. Um, you know, I like contrast when it comes to storytelling. And Master Chief is such a, you know, block of wood at times, but he's supposed to be. He's, you know, he's the, the stoic, strong type. So I'm glad that they added in Echo here to... Um, to kind of be like the, you know, the opposite. You know, someone with a little bit more personality who emotes a lot. Yeah. And this opening is... It really pulls... At least for me, it pulled me right into this character. Like, uh, when you see this little... What this little hologram thing is. Show Daddy how big you are. Can you sing? So big. Good. And can you sing? Very Good singing. Yeah, it's it's really good because you you immediately get him now. You know, like uh. And I love the time passing, like. How he was clean shaven, it was just after the explosion and, and getting away um, from wherever he was and the breach he had um, to now where he's where he's going to run into Master Chief's body. And you just see like the, you know, how much time has passed with his hair, how fast it grew. And probably not super fast, but I think there it's months, right? I think it's months after that f opening scene we saw. Or, or we, I mean, it could be weeks, I guess, but I think it's months. This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNSC... You know, I was talking to someone recently about character reveals, like how when you do, like, sci-fi or action, like, how important it can be. Um, we were talking about Blade and how I thought he had an amazing entrance to his own movie. I gotta say, that was a, that's a really good one, re-entrance, because obviously we saw Master Chief in the opening, but um, that was a great moment there. With the window. Or the windshield. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Armor shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to overwrite. And this is upgraded armor. I don't know okay. if he has the Mjolnir anymore. I think that kind of went away there. in Halo 5. I hope you're ready. Or after Halo 5. Please don't die. Um, Please don't die. Ooh. There we go. A classic Halo where you. This is how you learn the controls. Like, you look up and down and left and right. Yes! 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 We're going home! <laughs> oh. Welcome back, Chief. I rerouted my little power ahead into your suit. I'm seeing a fault on the calibration matrix. At least, I think it's a calibration matrix. Okay, follow the light. Look up. His eyes are, they're like burgundy. Almost. Let's look down. Like there's like a, there's like an orange or red tint to the brown in his eye. That seems fine. In his eyes. Let's try right. Go. And now left. Very cool. Like, I mean, I love this. It's classic the Halo. They have you do this in most of the games where you play as Master Chief. Looks like there's a problem um, with the servos in your hands. Try moving. It. It's cool. It's uh, it's cool that they did it here, Stay where calm. he's just trying to make sure you're You've still alive, and that you understand. And look at that. He finally drew in the grapple, so that cable was still hanging out of him. Oh, and he had Cortana in his hand. Thankfully, his fist was clenched, uh, and the suit activated to clench his fist so that it wouldn't open in space. 
Go. Whoa, 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 easy there, big guy. You're not. That's dead. what makes him so cool too, is that he's just That's a tank right. with legs. <laughs> There's something you need to see, Chief. And you could see, I love the just they did a really good job on the facial expression. I don't know if they've touched up the game since, but I remember liking it the first time I played it too, where Echo's face where he's just like what do you mean, mission or like status we report? Lost. Dude, we lost. Like, yeah, we're we're, we're done, man. Like, uh, there's nothing left for us here. Yeah, there's our ship. It's destroyed. I don't even know where here is. And there's the ring has been just bashed into. No, 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 not then, not again. We need to run. I need a weapon. Weapon. This is all I've got. It's enough. <laughs> it's got like one or two bullets in it, I think. Um, what are you gonna do? Improvise. Close the door. Yeah, this is uh, this is neat. So, like, because you're wondering, like, okay, well, if he's been out this whole time, how come the bad guys haven't won? How come they didn't destroy the universe? But they have to rebuild that chunk of the Halo ring in order to finish their plans, I believe. Um, and so that's. That's why. So they're in the process of rebuilding the broken areas. And see, we already played this before, so it showed that we found all the secret items this level. Because I think we did. I think we found all the skulls or whatever and all the the crates. And this music, God, it's so wonderful. That's what I love about Halo 2 in that this is one bullet. Another clip. But it's that that contrast I always talk about where it's like even in the music, it's beautiful music to like this intense sci fi action drama. <laughs> you know? Um I'll buy us some time. Kind of power fantasy soap opera kind of thing. But him just moving and seeing the the bodies and him having an emotional reaction to an extent, you know, he's He's kind of like, all right, well, you know, he takes a moment to look at the person, and uh, I don't believe it. You made it. and that's, uh, I think, an evolution in his character. Someone what? who would have just normally walked by bodies, he's now, um, he's now, you know, takes a moment to recognize we that it's a fallen soldier. Then we shut it down. Stasis beam, weapons, all of it. What? How will you get back? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember how to play this. <laughs> what? We just got an achievement. Working remote. Pick up a weapon using a grab shot and a match made game. Are we? Is this a match made game? Eliminate. Chief, whatever you're planning to do, do it fast. Okay, I, thanks, man. Don't interrupt me. Well, I failed at throwing that at him. Okay. And what crouch is there we go. Crouch. Thanks, game. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> like like I said, I think it's I think maybe a year and a half ago, maybe, I tried to pick this up and play some multiplayer. Um, but it, if so, I it didn't no. it, it wasn't for long. It was maybe for like a night or two.
nice. I love the grunt. I mean, the grunts are cool. This weapon, I think, is my favorite handheld. Easily. Like a, like a handgun, I mean. Um, in the game. By far. I mean, I like the, the pistol, obviously, but this thing just rules. And here comes our first brute variant. Look at that. And look how big that gun is. Done. Take that. Uh, and that's the thing is like, you know, the previous Halo games had like the prophets and this religious thing and this undertone of a, almost like a space cult where the uh, the prophets kind of trick in a way, like a, or get them to drink the Kool-Aid, all these different alien races. And the brutes were always these stand out like they were loyal, but they also like hated like um, some of the other alien races they were team have to team up with. So it makes sense that like Atriox and his group would break off and you know after the fall of the prophets and be like no we're gonna we're gonna do our own thing um and yeah atriox is there's a cool comic book called the rise of atriox uh, i think from dark horse and it was like the rise of his character and uh he's got a pretty cool origin as far as like bad guys go like uh i don't find him insanely sympathetic either um Um, I don't find him this sympathetic, which I don't want that in my villains. Like, I understand him, I guess, in a way, but I don't. It doesn't mean I. That I. You know. I don't feel like his actions are warranted either. <laughs> to an extent. And you can see he's kind of got, like, this propaganda machine going, where it's like between him and his followers, like his closest followers, his like knights, they, um... Got him. Headshot. Yeah, this gun is cool. <laughs> it's It just is. I know this is kind of a standard gun for, um, for Spartan. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, that, that pistol's so heavy-duty. It's so huge, too. It's just awesome. There we go. Dude. The hour approaches. Soon, the banished will stand victorious. Atriox, here. Even from beyond this life, your will is served. Your forces occupy the ring. This, uh, yeah. the funny thing, Atriox is like a, a standard old-school villain, too. He speaks in, like, a, like, inspirational, <laughs> you know, quote-unquote, uh, speeches, where he's just trying to, like, motivate his men with fear. And, and but also empower trying to empower them like we'll kill anything that comes our way you know um, so he's kind of one of those kind of leaders you know Genghis Khan or something we need to get out of here I'm working on it work faster these pelicans nearly on board and the power's still out don't let them get me Where is he? There he is. It, what? <laughs> and now he's dead? <laughs> Come on. I know I got a headshot on him, but all that... <laughs> Did the game make him easier for me? I wonder. Uh, yeah, that guy killed me, and now we're... Back, I guess. 
I'm gonna keep one of these handy just in case. There we go. Alright, so we just gotta go up here and press a button. That's it. Easy peasy. Oh my goodness, look at all that destruction. I love it. Oh, there it is. Have I ever tried any of the Dark Souls or FromSoft games? Yeah, I've played um I've played Dark Souls. I have the first one on here from back in like, you know, the Xbox 360 days, so I don't have like the remastered one. Um I don't think I've ever played the second one or the third one. Um at all. Only pipes running towards the main engines. So I'm gonna warm things up. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't really have the patience for those kind of games. Um, <laughs> you know, like, uh, I appreciate working hard for, you know, for success in a game, for sure. Um, but I also am a big fan of, like, casual gaming. Um, which is why I oftentimes play games on, like, normal mode, you know, or s sometimes hard, but typically normal or easy um, because I'm more there if the game has a good story I'm there for that have like a mech game too, right? Uh, Get ready. Okay, okay. Fire up those engines, Chief. <laughs> Maybe we'll survive. Maybe we'll survive. Get some grenades. And go. Shot on me. I was trying to melee him and it just wouldn't let me. Oh, we got another one of those, those dudes. guy who shoots the rockets. He's... I, I thought I... I thought I saw those coming out of the ground down there. Oh, can't reload. Already used it. I've been playing through Bloodborne, Elden Ring, and Dark Souls 3 because I think FromSoft does an incredible job at the world building. And also just really enjoy the fighting and PvP. Yeah, like I said, I'm... I'm not against like okay. I gotta like wear this enemy down and 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 roll and and I'll run out of stamina. Like I'm I'm not against like playing games like that. I just uh, I prefer not to play them on like stream though, because um, they can be like anger inducing. <laughs> you know. Um, oh hey hello there. So yeah, I don't play them for for that reason on on stream. Um, but uh, but every once in a while I get in a mood where I'm like, all right, I want a good challenge in this game. Or if I like for Resident Evil, it's like, oh, I beat it on easy, normal, hard. Or let's play it on professional, or let's play it on you know. I do the same thing with Halo. I work my way up to the hardest difficulty. Because at first I'm just playing for the story, like, and then once I'm like, okay, I know the story by heart, I move on to the the, the rage-inducing stuff. <laughs> Destroy this craft if you must. But yeah, like typical villain, like I, that's one thing I like about Atriox is like he just he loves the sound of his voice, <laughs> you know, um, and he loves like speaking in these like not even platitudes really because it's he he thinks he's being very deep and scary by threatening 
to that. You know, here's what my men are gonna do to you. No. And it's like, eh, he knows you. are they though? He knows all about you. You need to hurry. Get back here. I don't know how long this ship will hold together. Let's get that. Reload this. Yep, awesome. Oh, the music is so good. And I actually, I watched a whole, like, featurette on the music of this game. And how the, uh... How the, uh, composer made the tracks to where you can loop them. Like, uh, because you, when you're out in the open world, you know, you kind of have to, you know, you could run in any direction and, uh, and, you know, take forever to get to a certain spot, um, or you can run right to that spot. So you need the music to be able to loop in a way, oops, to where it, um, you know, like it can seem continuous. And, uh, they, uh, it sounded like they did a good job on it. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Boom. I love that. Jeez. This way. And then back in this room. I love it. You gotta like figure out your way across this, which is really cool. Um, this will also teach you how to get pretty good at your uh, grapple hook. Tell me the odds. It's gonna be close. Too close. Oh crap. Boom. And let's not there we go. Let's not die. Oh jeez. I forgot that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I should shoot those guys, but... I hope this place holds together that long. Charge faster! Damn it. There we go. Got him. Oof. Oof. I forgot about the slide. I think Elden Ring is a perfect mix of difficulty and quality of life change that make the game a bit easier without making it easy. It's also open world so you can go and basically turn your character into a god and wipe the bosses. I like using the sword from Berserk. Oh, nice. Oh, Guts' sword from Berserk? That Berserk? Like the anime? Or manga? And manga, I guess? Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot how, like, because Destiny 2, the original Destiny 2, before they, you know, lost the access to those levels or whatever and rights to it um had an awesome opening as well where it's just like this action put chief in front of or in that game it was put your guardian in front of the main villain your the villain kicks the crap out of you and then you spend the rest of the game building yourself back up to get a rematch and that's what this game is and i'm like okay so they took the destiny 2 approach which isn't bad it's just like i just thought the big bad was going to be cortana you know and she does play a role in this but yeah, it's, it's kind of like, um, I always compare this game to Resident Evil 4 in some ways, where Chief, Resident Evil 4 here here. I'm here. kind of okay. skipped over the, the conclusion to Umbrella, to get you. and was like, okay, well, we know after the end of Resident Evil 3 in Code Veronica, you really wanted to see these heroes take down Umbrella. Well, in Resident Evil 4, you start well, the game, and Umbrella's been, you know, okay. decommissioned um, due to stock prices dropping or some boring shit like that. Um... 
And uh, and this one was, you know, like, it's like, oh, we're going to start. But in, at this point, I don't know that Cortana's not the main villain. I know Atriox is a villain, but I don't know that Cortana's not the main villain. So when you get to that point in the game, it was a little bit of a letdown. But, um, but it's still, I think, it's a good game. And that was a good intro.